are leading the way as they head out to the field of battle. And Christina Berger on your right. Christina burst upon the scene earlier this year in Antalya. She just started to compete in the sport two years ago. She's 24 years old, so she picked up the sport at the age of 22. Jamie Van Atta started when she was 12, but Christina Berger, she might be the natural. Jamie Van Atta, one of the best in the business though, second in the world rankings. She was number one in the world back in 2009. She comes in here as the fifth seed at this tournament. And she will face the upstart, Christina Berger from Germany, who is ranked fourth in the world, only 24 years old. As we said, she burst upon the scene in Turkey this spring, finished second in her match with Albina Laganova, whom she actually led after two ends before she missed a shot in her third end. Along the way, she surprised Marcella Tonioli and Laura Longo in the elimination rounds in Antalya. She also won a team bronze there. Then in Ogden, she won an individual and team bronze medal. Losing, by the way, to Christy Collin in the semifinals by only two points. She may see Christy Collin before all is said and done. But first things first. Jamie Van Atta. Certainly has her own thoughts about that. Jamie tried to do what her teammate Christy Collins just did and advance on to the semifinals this afternoon. So Jamie Van Atta on target number one on the left, Christina Berger on the right. And Jamie, who did not qualify for last year's World Cup Finals despite winning a gold medal at stage four in Shanghai, trying to make the most of this trip to Tokyo and she starts it off with a 10. Now Christina Berger, her first year on the national team for Germany, and she starts off with a 10. Berger was a pistol shooter and a four-time national champion in Germany until making the switch to archery two years ago. 10, 9. Meanwhile, Jamie Van Atta, who captured two medals at stage one in Shanghai, a medal at stage two in Antalya, two medals at stage three in Ogden, five medals total in 2012. And she has two tens to start off, as does Christina Berger. Ten. Nine. Jamie just outside the ten ring with a nine. So the door opens up for Christina Berger. But Ms. Berger with a nine herself. And so once again, two very evenly matched archers tied up after the first end at 29 all, each shooting tens on their first two shots. By the way, the husbands, the spouses are here today. Calling out the shots. Jamie's husband. Making the trip to Tokyo, as did Christy Collins. And we'll see Sherry Wild in a little while. She'll be calling out the shots and coaching, so to speak, her husband, Rio Wild, in the men's compound competition. But there's a good look at Christina Berger. Once again, this is her first season on Germany's national team. She says she picked up a bow for the first time maybe two or three years ago. And in that time, she has been able to emerge as one of the top archers in the world. Two weeks after Antalya, she dominated the European Championships in Amsterdam. And in her first year on the circuit, she has reached the World Cup Finals and is facing Jamie Van Atta. Ten, nine points. Jamie's first shot of the second end. Nine points. Die schön sat ins Gold, Tina. Ten, nine points. We remain tied. Ten, nine. Ten, ten points. 
there is a bullseye for Jamie. Lass dir Zeit. Same goes for Christina Berger. Tied at 48 all. So two tens in this end for Jimmy Van Atta. Lass dir Zeit, bis du schön drin stehst. And a nine for Ms. Berger. So one point lead. 58-57 for Jamie Van Atta. After the first six arrows shot in this third quarterfinal match. Here at the Archery World Cup Finals. Good look at Jamie Van Atta, a computer programmer back in Ohio when she's not out here on the World Cup circuit. Says she is married to a very supportive husband who has never shot an arrow in his life, but knows how to fetch them. <laughs> That's the kind of support you need. And of course, Christina getting some support, some good support from her coaches here in Tokyo. Albina Laganova believes that Christina Berger will be her one of her top competitors, chief competitors, for many years to come. We're back underway. So the horn sounds and we're ready to go for the third end. And Jamie Van Atta nursing a one point lead, 58-57. And Christina Berger trailing in the match gets to shoot first and she throws down the gauntlet with a 10. Pressure back on Jamie Van Atta, who responds. Right on the line, so that's two tens for Christina Berger. Just outside the ten ring, so we're tied up again. Ooh, an eight. Not the shot that Christina Berger was hoping for, obviously. So as the Longines clock winds down with 10 seconds to go, Jamie Van Atta takes advantage of the opportunity, a big time opportunity to pull ahead by two points. That would be the largest meet lead She's had all day. She led by one after the second end, 58 to 57, and now leads it 87 to 85. As that eight really opened the door for Jamie Van Atta. So now Christina Berger with a lot to think about. She'll have to come from behind if she is going to advance to the semifinals. Once again, she came in as the fourth seed, Van Atta the fifth seed, so this would be a bit of an upset. Although not really when you look at Jamie's track record. Long track record of excellence. As we said, she was ranked number one in the world back in 2009. Now by her own account, this year has not gone as well as she'd hoped, so she was excited about reaching the gold medal match in Ogden, Utah against Christy Collin, although she said shooting against Christy was a uh, best case, worst case situation. She did settle for the silver in that match. And she was able to compile enough points to get herself here to Tokyo for the Archery World Cup final, where she leads by two points after three ends, but not an insurmountable lead at all for Christina Berger. On the line, it should count as a nine. But 
that just presents Jamie Van Atta Ten. with another opportunity Nine. to pick up another Eight. point. And she does. So she extends the lead. Schön ruhig ins Gold. Das ist Zeit. There's another 10 for Christina Berger. Outside the nine ring with an eight for Jamie Van Atta. That time a little bit low. And so the lead is down to one, 105 to 104. And Christina Berger, not about to give up. That eight by Jamie Van Atta had to revitalize her hopes. Ten, nine. And the nine right there, and we're tied up again at 114 all. So just that quickly, a three-point lead is erased. And after the first 12 arrows shot by both of these archers, and you can see the tension right there. But Jamie Van Atta has been in this situation before. But she had the three-point lead. She had a two-point lead after the first three ends, the lead went to three after the first arrow on the fourth end. But then Jamie Van Atta with an eight and a nine to finish off that fourth end. Meanwhile, Christina Berger was shooting bullseyes. That gets her back to even in this match, 114 all, and it's anybody's match as we head to the fifth and final end. Once again in compound archery, it's cumulative scoring. Five ends, and in each end, each archer shoots three arrows. And there you see the totals, both scoring 114 out of a possible 120 points thus far. So we're heading down to the wire here. 10. And it's outside the 10 ring, it's a nine. And the natural Christina Berger. Cannot take advantage. We're still tied with two shots left. Wonder what the heart rate is for these archers right now in this situation. Very close. But it's just outside and it's counted as a nine. The opportunity is there for Christina Berger, but she shoots a nine. Could we be headed to a shoot off? 10, 9, 8. Pressure's on now as Jamie Van Atta fires a 10. And Christina Berger has to match that to try to get this to a shoot off. And she does. We're going to a shoot off. Came down to the final shot, each shot a bullseye, and we are going to a shoot-off, which, in all honesty, is what a lot of fans love to see. I'm not sure the archers love it, but Jamie Van Atta will have to embrace this situation, as will Christina Berger. 142 apiece. After the first 15 arrows, so now we go back. And it's one arrow to decide the match. Whoever is closest to the center will win this quarterfinal match and get to advance to the semifinals. Both of these young ladies trying to steal themselves for this moment. Christina Berger closing her eyes. I would imagine that her experience as a pistol shooter and a four-time national champion in that sport stands her in good stead. Of course, all the years of experience for Jamie Van Atta stand her in good stead as well. So two of the best in the business going back and forth, and there you see the judges checking it very carefully and now replacing the targets for this shoot-off. 
So fresh targets for the shoot-off between Jamie Van Etta of the United States, the fifth-seeded archer at this World Cup Finals, and the fourth-seeded Christina Berger of Germany. We have already seen an upset as Danielle Brown has defeated Marcella Tonioli, while Christy Collin was able to hold off Laura Longo by one point. So we have had some compelling matches already here in Tokyo in the shadow of the high rises that surround Hibiya Park. The signal is given and we are just about set to go for the shoot off to decide this third quarterfinal match between Jamie Van Atta and Christina Berger. Jamie Van Atta exhales, draws her bowstring back, ten. lets it fly, and gets a 10. Now the question is, who will be closest to the center? Christina Berger. A 10 herself. They're going to have to measure, although it would appear to this reporter as though Jamie Van Atta's shot might have been a bit closer, but They'll have to measure, both with tens. That one looks closer to me. Very, very close, about three millimeters difference. This is not a game of inches. This is a game of millimeters, and you can see the tension on the face of Jamie Van Atta, who gets a hug from her husband. But it would appear as though Jamie Van Atta has won by just millimeters, and in fact, she has. Jamie Van Atta wins this quarterfinal match. Jamie Van Atta just a few millimeters closer to the center of the target than her competitor, Christina Berger. So the two Americans have indeed advanced. It didn't come easy as Christy Collin won by one. And Jamie Van Atta has got to go to a shoot-off to win it. 